In this video, we are going to round off our look at True Transparency by downloading and installing a new skin, and by adding an application to the list of excluded applications. There are several alternative skins for True Transparency. The popular user-created art site DeviantArt has several available for download. On this page, there are several to choose from. When you find a skin that you like the look of, simply click on it, click on its name, and then click on download here. I downloaded this broken arrow theme earlier. Here it is in my Firefox download manager. The files that are downloaded are downloaded as RAR files. The easiest way to work with them is to use 7-Zip. If you do not have 7-Zip installed, you can find our tutorials for it in the notes below the video. OK, so this machine has 7-Zip installed. What I'm going to do first is minimize Firefox and open up the directory where I installed True Transparency. For me, that was C drive true transparency. OK, now I need to open up the skin folder, which is here. Now I can go back to my download manager and double click on the downloaded file, which will open it up in the 7-zip file manager. Now all I need to do is click here and drag this file and drop it here. OK, and there it is. Now, when I right click on the True Transparency icon in the notification area and go to Skins, I can see my new Broken Arrow skin and select it. And there we go, it's applied instantly. Occasionally, you will come across a program that does not work correctly with True Transparency. When this happens, you can add an exclusion. For this example, we'll exclude Firefox from being skinned, even though Firefox is actually compatible. Firstly, make sure the application you want to exclude is running. So Firefox is running there, so we're OK. Now, right-click on the True Transparency icon in the notification area and choose Exclude Manager. This window will now appear. Items in red are excluded from being skinned by True Transparency. There are a number of items that are added automatically to the program. These are known applications that are incompatible. Items in white are not excluded. If we wanted to exclude Firefox, we'd select it from the list by clicking it, then right click and choose Add to Exclude List. Now you see Firefox has turned red in this list. And let's maximize Firefox. And as you can see, it's no longer skinned. To remove an application from the exclusion list, simply right click on it again and choose Remove this Exclude. And going back to Firefox again, we can see the skin's been reapplied. And that's all you need to know to use True Transparency on your Windows PC. Have fun!